Hi, and welcome to a Draft House Diary for Monday, March 11th, 2024, when I came out here to the Aspen Grove Alamo Draft House to see the Primevals. And the Primevals, I think, is a great story about movie making and the passion that movie making can bring. David Allen was a stop motion animator and filmmaker who had a dream to create this movie. He had story treatments going back decades in the 1970s. He really started to get going on this. Finally, he was able to do principal photography in 1994, and then tragically, he passed away in 1999. And at that point, the project went dormant. Decades later, associates of his and people at Full Moon chose to bring this project back to life, including funding from Indiegogo donators and stop motion animators and other filmmaking technicians donating their time and their efforts to try to bring this movie to life. And they did. So this is a movie that took a long time to be created. It really is a tribute to David Allen. And that in turn is also a tribute to the greats of stop motion animation, in particular, Ray Harryhausen, who of course was a tremendous inspiration to David Allen. I'll admit right up front before I talk about the movie itself, I'm a big fan of stop motion animation, a huge fan of Ray Harryhausen. Over at the Intermillennium Media Project podcast, I believe that over the years we've talked about every single Ray Harryhausen movie there is. So I was really looking forward to this because I knew how much of an inspiration that had been to David Allen and in turn the people who helped complete this movie for him. At the same time, I wasn't really sure what to expect from this movie. Stop motion is in many ways considered out of date. Uh, some of the craft is, is going missing over time, but I was very pleased and impressed by this movie. There are ways in which the production and the, uh, the acting have a certain degree of, of TV movie uh, air about it, but it was still a solid, entertaining 90-minute movie. The story of the primevals involves the discovery of the Yeti in the Himalayas and a scientific expedition to go out and find a, a living specimen so that they can study this creature. And that in turn leads to a more complex story which has liberal doses of Edgar Rice Burroughs' The Lost World, also has chunks of his At the Earth's Core, and more than a little bit of H.P. Lovecraft's At the Mountains of Madness, all mixed together in a pretty solid, entertaining adventure. It stars Juliet Mills, a really fun role as the kind of the senior scientist whose dream it is to see this uh, expedition through, and a very good ensemble cast, working well with the material they had. And the stop motion animation and stop motion effects really top notch. I would say it is as good as Harryhausen was in his heyday. And I've said in various places that one of the things I like about stop motion animation is that it doesn't try to look too real. It's realistic enough while still being a little bit odd and a little bit strange so that the magical creatures you portray in stop motion animation, they seem magical. The aliens seem alien. It, it achieves an effect that CGI just can't quite create. So I really enjoyed this movie both from a, a history of filmmaking point of view, from a story point of view, but also the craft that went into this movie, regardless of how it ultimately came to be. Other parts of my trip to the Alamo. The pre-roll, it was not created specifically for this movie, as far as I could tell. As far as I know, this is the only screening of this movie around, even though today is technically its opening day in the United States. The pre-roll had a lot of music videos, a lot of trailers for really cheesy action movies like The Bronx Warriors and Texas Gladiators and The New Barbarians. Movies that I've seen some of them, they're not nearly as good as The Primevals. This trip to the Alamo did not include dinner, but I did get some coffee and some chocolate chip cookies. And, you know, the coffee has been hit or miss at best here at the Littleton Aspen Grove Alamo. It was better tonight than it had been the last few times that I tried it. It's still kind of weak, but at least it was recognizable as coffee. So uh, that's a step in the right direction, as has the customer service here in general. It's been moving in the right direction. The coffee tonight, though, it does make me think that maybe the Alamos that don't give you a full 
thermal carafe of coffee, but instead give you a cup of coffee and allow you to uh, order refills. Maybe there is a benefit to that because they can make a strong cup of coffee with maybe a pod machine or something. As long as they don't mind bringing me refills, maybe that's better because the coffee quality tends to be a little bit superior in those theaters. And that's all for this Draft House Diary entry. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please click that like button. And if you want more of these, please click subscribe. I will be back with more soon. And in the meantime, enjoy your movies. And when you do, stay till the end of the credits.